Hello everybody, and I'm back. So yeah, we are going to continue this stuff. Um, hmm. Zambia, that's a weird nation I have to say, it's kind of like split up. Has anybody made it to America yet? Mm, not that I know of. Oh well. We'll see what will happen here. France is at war with the Ottomans. Crimea and a whole bunch of other guys. But that's irrelevant to me because I am playing as Moscow. Moscow is the main city of Russia and is coming on the way of becoming a superpower. But right now I think the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth is a little bit better. And they're still in a personal union with Poland. So yeah, Austria is getting torn to pieces, honestly. And Bohemia is being the emperor. It's doing what the emperor is supposed to be doing. Ish. Okay, so we need more uh, missionaries eventually. Uh, to convert these people. And then we'll uh, see what happens later on. So let's see what Zambia has to say. White peace, I accept. There you go. I could just forget about it. Uh, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta -ta. Don't want to have any slider changes for now. Just uh, repack the money into that and they'll do. Alright, cool. So, so far, so okay. Still getting fortresses, still trying to build fortresses and things like that. There are certain problems as I also have the local fortification or a marsh that increases their defensiveness. Technology wise we could expand into a lot of these areas because we have superior tech. And religious wise our brothers of Georgia are doing pretty well. Although they had like a little bit of a bad affair with uh, the Crimeans. Leadership in the war against Karakulul and the Rum. I say it's a pointless war and it is a pointless war. It doesn't seem to accomplish anything so let us lower the cost of this. So we could have up to 47 troops now within our force limit. So let's see, 28,000. So we're up to 29,000 in this army. Duh. The supremacy asserts over the sound of two belts for shells. I could pay for that. Okay, so. Uh, 43. So let's go and recruit more troops. 44, 45, 46, 47. There you go. Crusade against the Ottomans. We've got a little bit of a rebellion. Do not worry, I'll take care of it. So as this is going on, I'm going to keep building uh, buildings slash factories in areas that need it. Naval equipment, weapon. Yeah, weapon factory seems nice in this area. And over here just start building the constables and all that crap. Never! I'll never pay for you! You're a bunch of freaking jerks! Okay, so how are the Ottomans doing this time against France early on following Castile? I know their navy can't do much. And Castile and France are gonna have a go at it. A huge go at it. And it seems like Mali also was having a go at it with France. And, uh... Yeah, they're occupying all their uh, provinces down here. A grand captain has died. Oh no. What will we do? 
who throughout the infinity of space and eternity of time will replace him. Ooh. He was born in Korea, but he's badass, I have to say. So now I could just start demanding provinces like crazy. Alliance causes belly against Order of St. John. Okay, you boys, walk down here. Let's see what Novgorod's been up to. The Lord of Kurdistan. I guess just because, yeah, they're they're part of our religion. Okay, let's move out, boys. Can I get an alliance with Sweden? Royal marriage? Yeah, sure. And uh, I'll ask for an alliance, because if I do get an alliance, and I do it at Novgorod, and they join me, they could occupy some of their armies for me while I'm waiting for stuff to happen. Converted to heretics. Yay. We're still trying to convert heretics all across our nation. There's this random province over here that's proving that's proven to be very stubborn. Economically, we are doing very well. We have a lot of uh, very good resources, such as coal and uh, horses. Are we the lead producer of coal or not? Wonder, because if we are the lead producer, then we gain uh, quite a hefty bonus. Ming is the current producer. Uh, the Ming, of course. Huge ass empire. So yeah, I can't see much of Africa, so I'm gonna have to wait out until the Age of Discovery hits me and then I'll be able to do things. But I want to war with Astrakhan again and maybe with uh, Kazakhstan take over these areas and then start exploring Siberia Nationalism Oriator What do you mean nationalism? In Granda, what? What province? Ah, oh, they're at war with the Oriots. Okay. So I guess I could just colonize all the areas down here, or invade them. Shouldn't take too long or too many men. The army tradition is a hundred percent, so might as well get a good general. All right, so Golden Horde, your days have just ended. I guess nobody wants to join them. Nobody did. <laughs> well, I'll just take over Ostracon. Start colonizing that and then just demand tribute annexation from this bunch 4,000 let's send colonists spare no expense, no I want to use stuff smartly Ooh, Novgorod is expanding quite rapidly I have to say I'm kind of scared of that The Golden Horde is already going to demand uh, peace, but I will not accept it. I only accept peace from people who are basically good to me. So Byzantium's at war with like a bunch of people too. Hmm. I'll take care of that rebellion shortly. Just moving down here. You can take care of that. I can go all the way back up here. Hey.
Hey, do you want to have an alliance? Very unlikely. Maybe if I send you some money, you will start considering my alliance proposal. Okay, so I have five magistrates. So let's start uh, more economic expansionism. More fortress building against Novgorod enemy. Not exactly our enemies yet, but eventually they will be. And factories become more expensive as you build them, so. Akaloon. Whatever, white piece. So let's see. What else can happen? Uh, take over to Crimea. Uh, damn right, it's the council. Yeah, I think that's one of the worst things that could have happened. Because our king is something like five years old. I think he is. How old is he? He's 13, okay, so he's not that bad. He has a diplomacy of 8, administration 3, military 4. So his administration is lacking. Let's see if I could get a good... Uh, whoops, wrong person. If I could get a uh, good minter. Yay, level 6 minter. Yay, level 4 minter. All better than uh, the ones I do have. So now I could even raise the taxes even more if I wanted to. Or if I needed to. Because anyways, the factories are going to start costing more expensive as we go along. But they do increase my uh, the amount of either diplomats I get or the amount of uh, colonists I get. They're a bunch of nationalists. Almost done with the Golden Horde Capital Electricon can't annex them, so that's why I'm colonizing them. Novgorod is gonna cut me off, so I might have to expand down here now first, before I go back up north and try to take care of them. And it doesn't make a big event that uh, when a religion like disappears off the map, it's just like, ah, oh, our religion disappeared off the map. Oh. It doesn't even say that. One last colonist, and uh, that province will flip to us. Which one is the one that increases magistrates? It is the university. And what do does the university need? Wool, stone, Wood, stone, or gold. So over here is going to be the spot of my next university. Just going to need a little bit more money. Yeah, province defected to us. Now I can annex this. Oh, damn. Forget about those guys. Okay, uh, now this is what I feared the most. The uh, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth is attacking the Crimea. Yes, I'll join your wars. But why should I? You're all a bunch of jerks, anyway. You're at war with Majif Ait, but you don't even know where it is. Somewhere over here. Accepted peace, accepted peace. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I had a missionary here. Have to reinstate him. 
and Astragon as well. Everybody's accepting peace with the Oriath Horde. But why are they? Oh well, yeah, well they can't even reach him, so nobody gives a shit, right? Oh damn you! Oriath will pay 414 gold. Decline. I guess I will like declare war on uh, the. Oh, we're in a registered council. Yeah, we can't declare war, which sucks because I fear the Polish are gonna swell into the Ukraine unless we get like some kind of mega alliance against them. If I could get Bohemia on my side, then uh, I would have had a very good ally. What a very good ally. Invest in a bigger army, invest in better taxes for now. Three, three. So I could expand my army to about 40,000 right now. See what I could uh, do with royal marriages. Rejected. Rejected. Accepted. Good job, Serbia. I know I could count on you. Even the Hungarians are gonna expand down here. Fucking hell. So what I need to do is I need to declare war on them somehow. Georgia, come on. Pull something. Do something about it. Because I'm kind of stuck right now. Ah, it's my time to leave. Going on a date. It's gonna be fun. Okay, you guys, calm down. I'm just like your new ruler. I won't exterminate you or anything. There you go, our king's back. So finally, I could declare war on these guys and try to take them out. I'll try to take my share of their nation before the other guys do. Do I have enough money to build uh, that university? Yes, I do. Let's do it. It's pretty expensive, but it's all part of the game. Investing, reinvesting continually. So I'm going to try to cut them off, and at least they'll get this part of Ukraine, but I'll be in the other portion of it, which will leave me uh, with uh, a lot of uh, territory to manage. and managing territory is pretty hard I have to say like they have national conscripts they're gonna get a lot more manpower except another royal marriage offer an alliance very unlikely wow they accepted <whistles> Spain owns this province somehow France owns that. Alright, France is really, really starting to annoy me. Look, I don't give a shit, Crimea. You belong to me, okay? You're gonna give me all your provinces. Well, all the provinces that you, you can give me without, like, telling me to fuck off because I'm asking way too much of you. It's not the way, but whatever. I'll go down here. There we go, white piece with them. Come on, get there. There you go, go over here. Okay, so what provinces I need to form uh, Russia again? I could 
transform to Kevin Roos. You give. Uh, I need all these provinces over here. Liberum Vito. Form Russia. Where's Russia? Kiev. Okay. What else do I need? Yaroslav, Novgorod, and Archangel. Alright, I'll do my best. Well, you're kind of in Siberia, you're not going to do a good, good... You're not going to do a lot coming all the way down here. It's going to be taken over by the time you do that. Quality, lose 23,000 band power that are unfit for battle. Alright. You want to play rough? I'll play rough. Two for peace. I demand this. They will not accept. They will accept this though. Hmm. Wonder how much I could take from them. I think with this I could take a bit more. I have a reconquest on the Crimea in uh, this province here. No, this province here. No, whatever. That should cut them off good enough for now. You go down here, to, well, you go up here to care these rebels go. Going to send more missionaries to convert the peoples. And try to cut off the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth from taking over too much lands and becoming unstoppable. Because France doesn't even have that type of military, I bet. Otherwise, there's going to be a huge war of the empires towards the end of the game. So, I'll see you later, guys. Alright, greetings, everybody. <coughs> Let us continue our little Let's Play of um, EU3's Muscovy. Current, currently, there's nothing much going on. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to break the truce. Because now, uh, Poland is like... Poland's gonna swell even bigger than it already is. Ooh, but there might be a certain event that might lead us to to have something a little bit more interesting than usual, because the Ottomans war decked um, Hungary, so Poland and the Ottomans should be at war. So let's hope the Ottomans Blitzkrieg actually manages to defeat Poland because Serbia is doing extremely well. Wonder how the Ottoman Navy is too. Because if the Ottoman Navy is big enough, it could defeat the other navies. How big is the Ottoman Navy? Can't see it. It's nowhere to be found. Ooh, Algeria did some invasions in Italy. So yeah, Serbia might have a little bit of a hard time. That'd be interesting. While I try to expand a bit more eastwards, or into the Crimean Khanate. So my merchants are going out doing their thing. Alright, so I have two magistrates. Let's see what I could do with two magistrates. Can build another refinery, but they're gonna cost a butt ton. Yeah, they're costing a butt ton. So I guess I'll stick to uh, uh, regimental camps for now. That will give me a bit more of a edge against thy enemy, uh, constable. You might as well. All right, so we're slowly building our economy as well. 
Let's see how good uh, our economy is going. And we're going to see how the world turns out to be. I would like to get an alliance with France, though, or with England. Someone that could, like, control the seas. Because Russia is not really that much of a naval force. However, I could invest heavily into it and see what, what comes out of it. Um, let's see. As you can see, Muscovy started out as this. And over as this. So... We're moving out pretty good. So, Ottomans a little bit blockaded. But they seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, they're at this Buttock Monarchy. They have Grand Army. They have Military Drill and Glorious Arms. And uh, National Conscripts. So they shouldn't be running out of manpower. And however, Trans Wallachia is making it hard. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen to that. Because if I declare war on them now, reconquest, I'm gonna be at war with a lot of people. And personally I don't have that military force yet. I need three big armies in order to defeat them. I only have one big one and one like halfway big one. So that's out of the question for now. We could have ten more units though. So I'm gonna add uh, two more to this one. Two more uh, infantry to that one. And the other one, what does it need? Uh, let's say two more cannons two more cavalry and four more infantry and that should do the trick for that military unit over there alright Razan, let's see let's build you a workshop ooh, them rebellions so, Georgia, my faithful ally to the south, buffer state against the Muslims however, you're gonna be really really warring pretty hard soon mm. French have a regency council so they're gonna have a little bit of a problematic time mm. alright Novgorod is growing I have an alliance with Sweden but Sweden only has like one army so they're gonna come down here, and anyways, Novgorod's armies are bigger, way bigger. Ooh, yes. More gold into my pocket. I'm gonna build a lot of the regimental camps in all the places I can. I think they do increase my limit, so my uh, force limit, so it's gonna be pretty useful. Well, the Georgians are really proving to be a faithful ally. I'm gonna give them a gift, so they're on my side. And the Serbians, too, are very good allies. Hopefully they're gonna help me against the uh, Hungary. Uh, no, it's not Austria-Hungary, no, it's Poland-Hungary. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a, a hard time. Alliance against Brunei, wow. I, I don't get it, how come the AI wars with nations they can't even reach? Alliance, Bulgaria, Wallachia. F. There's a truce that was made. White peace, good. Ottomans should expand down here for scatter enough manpower to take over these areas. But, whatever, who am I kidding? I'm just a guy. Just a, just a guy trying to see what happens in the world. Even where Guza expanded. <laughs> and Georgia still has Aquilia. And they're trying to convert them to Orthodoxy. How's the Vatican? Pretty shitty, I have to say. At war with the Lombard. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, so... You two go to 
this army and everybody else go to that army. I said everybody else. Good. Let's see that manpower start flowing. Okay, a base 47.75. Yeah, plus five percent for trading in Wales. Forty-seven point seventy-five. Hmm. How's that base calculated, though? I'm not too sure how the base is calculated. It's the number of provinces. Hmm. We've converted the heretics in there. Mm -hmm. Religion? Where do we not have missionaries? Down here in Asia. Well, the provinces are way too big over there. I'd rather go down here to the smaller areas. Sweden asked me into the war against Majafait. Uh, who cares about that nation? for white peace offer uh, tribute there you go they have some honor okay so let's see our new military force how big is it is it good is it bad I'll see combine combine and that's basically the military force we have so far Seven. Yeah. And the Georgians are getting their revenge too in the Crimean Khanate. I think I should jump in while I still have a chance. But my truce expires in uh, the 4th of September. Might be too late. Jink. There you go. The only empires I'm going to be able to war with are like these empires in in uh, in Asia, colonize, and then after that I'll have to swing back around. Or this is getting very interesting, I have to say, because I think Bohemia is still the emperor, are they not? Indeed, they are, and they are fighting pretty hard against uh, Poland, Hungary. How war exhausted are they getting? Ooh, very. I think m it's my time to strike. Once you're done, swing back around, come up here. Yeah, just try to keep them busy. Let's try to get a royal marriage with a few people. I'll be right back.